Hey guys, this is Gaurav. Welcome to SaaS with ServiceNow. This is our ServiceNow developer guide session. If you remember, I posted a video in which we created a catalog item to show an automatic workflow. So we are going to utilize the same catalog item. However, we will use this time flow designer. So for the flow designer is a it's a new functionality by ServiceNow. So we are not going to use workflow. We are going to use same functionality with flow designer. Now in flow designer when ServiceNow came up with this functionality they told that this flow designer does not need uh, that much of coding basically so any uh, if if any person doesn't know about coding he can also develop the solution he can also put the logic in flow designer and that was the overall intent and and that is how service now is keep on growing that they are coming up with much ideas so that service now becomes a no code uh, ecosystem where everyone even the business can develop the applications they can they can uh, build some workflows as well so let's take a look how exactly you can add that flow designer and how exactly that workflow works so let's take a look so if I show you there was a catalog item so I just go to maintain items and this was the catalog item which I created earlier and the name of the uh, catalog item is finance portal access request um, I will just show you the form so that just to if we have a new user so you can see we had uh, three fields uh, is this request for you if I uh, click it no then I will have another field and then we have select the location of access and then we have justification now the condition is your approval will flow with the help of location so we have a table of approvers and what is that table I will just go here this is the table finance approval metrics now, I will go here now you can see as of now we have two approvers for two locations if you want you can put multiple approvers for multiple locations you can also put two approvers for one location each location you can also do that uh, but in this example I will show you one approver for one location how exactly it goes for approval and once it's get approved what exactly happens so in the workflow uh, we try to do it with the help of scripting we had to do scripting now the thing is how can we do it with flow designer without scripting now this will give you a real difference that in order to fetch the data uh, to uh, populate the workflow you have to write some script to fetch this particular uh, record from this table but in in flow designer service now has given some of the functionalities in which you don't need to write any kind of scripting so let's take a look so this is our table now what I will do now before starting this flow designer now you have to enable this functionality so there is a plugin which is called I think service catalog flow designer so that's what you have to use you have to enable it once it is enabled you will be able to see option for service catalog flow designer because flow designer is not only for service uh, service catalog it can be it is just like a workflow it's just an advanced version of workflow where you can do a lot of things with just drag and drop and without no coding that's a more intent of uh, uh, flow designer so let me start so you have this flow designer here and this is called designer so you have to click on designer now once you will click on designer it will take you to the new tab basically now this view will show you all the all the all kind of uh, flow designers you have created so that's what it will show now what we have to do we have to create a new flow designer so I will click on new here and I will click new flow once I will click on new uh, it will ask me the name so I will type um, finance access portal if you want to give some description you can do that and then you have run as user who initiates session or system user how do you want to run this uh, particular uh, flow so I will use uh, user who initiates session I will click on submit now this will be opened 
Now in flow designer in flow, you have two things. One is trigger and one is actions. So two things are there. So trigger is the thing when exactly you want to trigger this uh, flow. So what how exactly we will do that? We will click to add a trigger. We will go at the bottom. Now, as I mentioned, the flow designer is not only for service catalog, it is for other uh, tables and other functionalities as well. However, you will see these kind of fields here, functionalities here. But what I will do, I will just select service catalog for now. So I will click service catalog. Now, once service catalog is selected, I don't have to do anything. I will just click on done. I can also delete it. ServiceNow has given those options as well. Now, after just selecting the catalog, now the first thing which I need to do, I have to get the variables. And the reason behind it, because my uh, this my this finance access uh, workflow, this flow would only work with those variables condition. So what I will do, I will click on action. I have to select ServiceNow core, and I will go to get service now uh, get catalog variables i will click here and you can understand what exactly it means that service catalog uh, variables on flow and on a given service catalog request item use this to obtain the catalog variables on the flow so you so you, ha you as of now you're just getting those variables so you click on this now you have to select that which item you are talking about so it's saying which requested item so I will go here. I will just click on this. Which template now for which uh, catalog item you are working. So this I will click on finance portal access request. You can see it automatically fetched all the variables. Now what variables you want to put in this flow. You can do it from here. So is this request for you? Who is this request for? I will I will take all ideally. I don't need these. Uh, but if you want, you can do that. You might need these uh, variables later. So it depends on your conditions, on your situations. So you click on done. So I, I am done with this. I have got all the variables. I will click here now. Now I will go ask for approval first. That because we have to go for approval now but before that how will you go for approval because you don't know from where you have to fetch the record now in order to do that you have to go to lookup record so first you have to click on this lookup record once you will select lookup record it will ask you to select the table so i will select finance approval metrics the table which we created in order to get the approvers then you will put here you will put approver one is now who will be the approver so I think the condition we are not looking for as per the approvers the condition we need is as per the location so I will select the location here location is now what is that location location should be equal to what user has selected in that form and how exactly I will get that I will get it from the variables and what is that variable this is the select the location of access so I am going to just drag and drop see this is really good functionality you I just picked it from here so whatever things you are getting you you will see right here so now I just picked it and dragged and dropped here and it says if multiple records so I don't want I just want to return one record in this particular situation I will make it as done so that means now I will get that record as per the user selection now what I will do I will click on here action now I will go for approval because now this is time for approval basically so I will select ask for approval it says which record ideally it's a request item record I have mentioned it it will automatically show all the fields so the approval field is automatically approval field general field is approval history now now I have to put some rules that with what condition it will select it that what what approver it will select so how exactly it will do I will do choose approval rules it will say anyone approves and here I will just click data picker 
and I will look up the record. So we already had an action before and I have to get that particular approval. So I will go to finance approval. I will go to this record and I will pick approver one. This place is that which approver you want to push here. So it has to select from our lookup records. So in that case, I will select this. You also have some other options like add user or add go. You can you can do it, but this time we don't want that condition like you have in workflow. Add user, add group, work, uh, approval group, approval user. But we don't want in this condition. We have to uh, we have to fetch it from a table. We have our uh, approval metrics is there. Now here is the tweak, and here is the difference basically. Now when I will ask you to create the same kind of functionality to fetch the approval in workflow, you have to write a script. Now there's a difference here. I'm not writing a single script here. I'm just doing the same activity which I will do by putting the where GR glide record, fetching the uh, records, fetching the fetching the approval. It is doing in the same way, but without doing scripting. Now I have selected this. I will click on done. Now you can do one one more thing. I will click here. I will just put another condition that will be rejection. So if it is reject, and it says anyone rejects, and the approver is the same one. So I select here, look up record, approver one as a reference, and I'm putting as done. Now, so I'm making it as done. Now you have to do some flow logic and the reason behind it, till now you are asking for approval. Now you have to see if it is approved, then what you have to do. If it is not approved, then what you have to do. So you will put if here and you will put check if approved and the condition we will put here approval state so if approval state is approved now this is the condition but what you will do if it if it gets approved that is here so if i make it done and i will click here and i will now do some action and that action would be create a catalog task so if it gets approved then I will assign a catalog task to a team just to provide the access now this has been selected this is this one uh, provide access for finance portal if you want to change more value more fields and values you can do it right from here then you can select the item uh, I think it is for fetching the variables and I'm just clicking on done so it will create the catalog task now what if if it gets rejected in that case you will create another logic that will be else so if it's not approved I will create an action and that action would be I think you can do one thing you can update the record so the update the record would be your same request item record and you can put the state as closed incomplete and stage as request cancelled that's what you can do right here so I'm clicking on done and I think we are done so in this case I will just click on save It is saved now as of now it is not activated now you have to activate it 
and you can do it from here click on activate it will be activated it says flow activated successfully now what I will do I will go to another tab in order to do that I have to exit full screen so this is my flow designer and this is my service now core service now what I will do I will go to first maintain item I will open here now I'm done with the flow designer I don't have to uh, configure anything else I will just go at the bottom now I will go to process uh, engine I will remove this workflow because I don't need it anymore because I have developed the flow now and I will type finance access portal and I will click on save now once it is saved now you will it will not use workflow it will use this flow which we have created so let's try it so if I click on try it I will select the location I will select this location now this location has a prover as a Brian Lincoln and I will put test test request and now I'm going to click on order now once I clicked on order now the request item is created state is still open and this is the request item now if I go at the bottom you will see we have the approver now and if I click on approve button it says item is approved so as for the condition we selected it should create oh, okay great yes so it, it took a little bit time I think so in that case I would say I think it might be a little bit slow or maybe because of uh, our service now performance it might happen because in workflow it creates I think in just one second I would say but this took a little time and what you can see the interesting part is if you remember you used to see um, workflow in this related links now you can see flow context see if I click here it will open the flow context in the in a different uh, tab and it will show you that how exactly it is going on so you can see it says evaluated true and it says created catalog task waiting now why it is showing waiting if you remember uh, we also had uh, a there was a checkbox on the catalog a task creation that wait that's the reason and wait means uh, if the catalog task is completed do you want some more action that's how it does so this is what it as of now else is not running you can see it did not run and the reason behind it because our evaluation was true because we, we approved it that's the reason now you can see the short description which we gave provide access for finance portal now now as of now this is not assigned to anyone so if you remember we set some state state you can see uh, I think it is not showing state and we also had other fields that's how you can set right on this particular task so this is open because in uh, in approved state we didn't mention anything apart from short description but you can also mention the assignment group assign to if you want configuration item state priority as per your requirement that's what you can do so this is the overall uh, overall catalog item created with the flow designer i hope you like the session so thanks for watching my video and have a great day